No, but Doc, did want to catch up with you. And, and we're seeing this more and more, certainly in the NFL, is where I'm noticing it the most. And, and you always talk about secret sauces and there's ways to do things and the, the ability to do things quickly and being an athlete and all that kind of stuff. But the NFL is where I notice this the most, Doc. And we've even seen it with, and I'm not, I'm not equating the two. I'm just giving you examples of, of what we've seen. We've seen it, defensive linemen, in an offseason, will drop 40, 50 pounds of weight. They're trim, they're, they're quick, they're strong, and everything like that. And, Doc, my, my question about that is, how, how does that happen? How are these athletes doing that? How are they, how are they in a position? Because, look, I was very, very big in my previous life and lost a lot of weight. But through diet, through exercise, like the hard way, how are they doing this, Doc? Um, I mean, we I all... want the secret sauce answer. <laughs> well, this secret isn't that secret anymore. I mean, you listen to any iPod or, or podcast, you know, they're picking on the trillion dollar uh, ingredient called Ozempic and all those things. Are they using that? It's fun. You know, we can take this two ways. There's, there's the way where we're taking the medication it is doing it. You can see all Hollywood's talking about the caffeine, you know, the caffeine secret in your cup of coffee, a, a seven second mixture. You know, there, there's a lot of things. There, it's kind of what I said before. Our science is advancing greatly. You know, we talk about peptides. I've talked about peptides. I talk about exosomes, stuff like that. When you break down Ozempic, it's just a peptide. So it's a certain peptide. What's going on now is Ozempic and those type of medications were removing weight, but also muscle. The muscle was losing. Now you're getting designer things where you're maintaining the muscle or you have to take this supplement to maintain muscle. When we're talking about linemen, you're talking about 20 year old kids, right? Who eat crazy, their, their diet is ridiculous. You get a nutrition on them, you get some things going on. You can lose 20, 30 pounds pretty easily if you're diligent in a dietary program without the Ozempic. Or I don't want to brand, let's call it a, pepti, a weight loss peptide. Sure. Um, because there's a lot of them out there right now. Can you do it? Can you cheat it? Yeah, I mean, but you know, you mentioned you lost a lot of weight and you sweat it off. These guys are exercising. If they get into programs, they can legit lose that kind of, of weight. So when you say they're coming in bigger, faster, and stronger, they're going into a program where weight loss is part of it, but there's also a healthy living is part of it. And then strengthening is a part of it. Like we're talking about doing retreats, you know, from, through my company, you know, out in other countries so we can do certain biologics that we can't do here. So what's going on is these guys are getting a hold of that and it's not being advertised. Like you're seeing Hollywood advertise how like I've Kelly Clark, uh, who's Clarkson. Lost? Kelly Clarkson lost like 125 pounds and I met her at her probably heaviest you know real sweet and now she's thin like Oprah others but stories. is that healthy I mean what does that do to the body yeah they've done those long-term results or tests on it to where they know like hey if you're 20 years old and you're dropping this weight this fast or if you're Kelly Clarkson and you're dropping 120 in a month like well, that well, do it, wasn't a month. it was probably over six to, to nine months okay that's long. 20 pounds a month though I mean yeah, doesn't that do something to your heart your blood the way your body functions because bodies like they get to places over time right not just with a snap of a finger well, well that's like so that's a little old school thinking I'm, right I'm the biggest school. thing is the roller coaster okay. that's what damages the body the most if you go and maintain and you create a new lifestyle which i you know talking yep. about yourself you did it committed and this is my new lifestyle yep it's the way i live right life. it's not like the fad diets where you're like hey i did whatever carb Keto, load yeah. yeah all that stuff yeah. and then i came off and i regained the weight right there's a lifestyle change if these guys are committed to it the other side of it is the fear factor that linemen are getting, right? So if we really tease out the big picture, I know you're focusing just on that. But if you look at linemen's health after NFL, they didn't change their lifestyle. They became large individuals that died of heart disease. So all these peptides are lowering the risk of heart disease. So as you do it, how fast you do it, the controlled environment, a controlled scientific environment, you should be healthy. Right, you're doing lab work, you're doing cardiac workup, you're doing the whole functional vascular, all that. That's where you're you're healthier. You're, you're talking. 
Like we don't even mention liver and kidneys and pancreas. Pancreas is a big, a big problem with the Ozempic, the peptide things, which is coming as a side effect. Like you said, do we have enough research? Research is coming out, we're improving it. There's more, let's say, designer peptides that are focusing in really on what the weight loss should be. So to answer your question, those 40 pounds that these guys are coming, do they have a little special sauce? Probably, are they just pushing the Ozempic? No, because then they wouldn't be faster and stronger, right? You have to do the full program. So I'm fully for a better functional lifestyle. Now you're talking about their play. Some of these linemen like Michigan is, or Wisconsin and Iowa are king of what? 300 plus pound guys. They're harder to move, right? So when you're lean and mean, you're playing a different game. So sometimes that extra weight does benefit. So you got to talk to what the coach is. If you're going to make up for it, where are you going to get the power to push over a 300 pound guy on the other side? Yeah, it'd be interesting to track these guys, the guys that dropped the 40 pounds in the off season and see and, what and their like, productivity has turned into but, this year. And, and the reason I bring that up is because we've seen it here with, with Aleem McNeil took a step forward last year. No, no doubt about it. He he shed he shed a lot of weight the previous off season and came back in and looked good. We saw the the clips of Broderick Martin. So so we will be able to you know as Lions fans we will certainly be able to take a look at that and, and kind of pinpoint it. And I and I was just more curious about the the how the how that they how they do it. Right. You and know? couldn't they do this just through healthy living or is you know better living now, through now, chemistry that, part of it? Now now Doc I will say this. They don't have the benefit of time like that. I will. I will give them that. Like, yes, for me, like I started. It was. It was 2015 ish, just turning into 2016, where I just kind of overnight said, "This is how we're doing life from now on. Deal with it." And we did it, and everything went well, and everything's cool, and and we made a lifestyle change. Doc, when you're in a career where you got a four year shelf life on average, right. you you don't have time to say, "All right, well, I'm just going to change my lifestyle now, and over the next couple of years, everything will get better." Yeah, but the other thing you're forgetting, they have a whole team behind them. Right. Like I've said so many times, they have access to so much more than what we have access to. If they follow it and get rigid, like we're very good friends with the nutritionist for the Red Wings. She's the smartest person I know nutritionally. And I've gone all the way to the Olympic Center with that. You get somebody like that, like this is your portions. This is what you're doing. This is your exercise. You get regimen. You know, we talked about the Brady factor before. You know, you live that life. <laughs> yeah in and out you live and breathe it it you see results overnight like water weight is 20 pounds on a 300 pound guy right so that's that can be two weeks losing 20 pounds of, of water weight so now you add a scientific to it and some secret sauce things you're 40 pounds you're talking about 40 pounds on a 300 pound guy you think it's a lot i love it's, when doc says secret sauce yeah. man it's, it's it's 12 you know 12 percent of his body weight it's not a whole lot. Uh, talking with our injury insider here, Dr. Jeff Pierce, the Michigan Sports and Spine Center. Freddie Felt 313, Dr. Pierce is cooking today. Once you're off the Ozempic, your muscle mass is effed if you aren't actively exercising. And to be fair, like I didn't, I know it came out that way, but I wasn't, you know, saying they're all using Ozempic. I'm not, I'm not saying that. I was but just more are. curious about the philosophy. Well, well, I, I, you're not I, saying it. I, I, there you okay. go. I'll say it for you, Neil. There are. It's a <laughs> certain mean, peptide that helps with weight loss. All right, there, there it is. Okay, I like it better. I like when the doc chimes in and uh, and, and says it right. Uh, Steve Wilds, uh, no, it's not old school. Stick is right. You can't just drop 125 pounds in a few months. Crazy con, I agree, stick. I always figure 10 pounds a month is about right. But I guess it depends on how much somebody weighs. I, and I guess this is kind of a spinoff question. And you're not an NFL coach, so this is probably an unfair question to ask you. But I like putting you in those uncomfortable spots, Doc. <laughs> is this a byproduct of the game change? You can speak to this, though, because you've been around professional sports throughout the decades now. So you've seen you've seen games change. Oh, yeah. And I guess this is might even be more of a byproduct of what we talk about a lot with the change in sports where it's about athleticism now more than it's ever been in the past. Even at the cost of size sometimes, it's about athleticism. Yeah, I mean, the athletes, the game is speed now. It's not moving two big pound guys in running games. You know, it's, it's speed of how quick you can get to the quarterback, right? I mean, when we grew up, it was all about running game. Now it's all about, you know, the, the, the passes, the quick outs. You know, so the quickness for the linemen, especially for defense, they got to be a quicker, larger individual. I mean, whoever saw a lineman running a sub five on a 40, 
right? We're seeing that now. You know, that maybe a handful, but it's getting <laughs> the point is these guys are getting a lot faster. And that's like a steam truck, you know, steam train coming at you kind of quickly. Um, the game is changing. You got to be quicker. You got to be faster. We talk about foot speed. We talk about hand speed. You talk about just that quickness, that first one step. We didn't, you know, we, you know, back in the old Big Ten games, it was all about how big are your linemen and how fast, you know, you can you can't fall move forward? Them. Yeah. Yeah. I'm moving five feet or five yards one way or the other with those guys. Now it's a full out, you know, the quarterback's 10 yards back. He's got an out with, you know, within seconds, he's got to release the ball. So you got to put the pressure on. Uh, we will ride off with this one, Dr. Pierce. No, I don't need a response from you, but Kyle Zweed says Bill Belichick changed his lifestyle around oh, just geez. yet. Dot, I'll just leave it right there. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that's upped, a different segment for a different. That's more of a that's more of a heavyweight he topic. Five to he seven. Definitely upped his cardio. He, he made a decision no, a not to see the cardiac for the stress test. Yeah, yeah. I think we, I think we already did that segment. Yeah, yeah there, there you go. That's more of a she heavyweight. She calls him coach. Yeah, absolutely. Doc, appreciate your time, my friend. Yeah, Thanks for good. stopping by. Uh, as always, Doctor Jeff Pierce, Michigan Sports and I love this. This is a crazy, crazy segment. That's what happens when I'm on the show, Doc. I'm sorry. I don't know how to clip this one up. Yeah. No, don't worry. I'll do. I'll do the transitions for you, Doc. Appreciate we'll have, your time. We'll, have we'll talk to you next week. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. Attention, sports fans! Don't miss out on expert sports injury insight with Dr. Jeff Pierce of Michigan Sports and Spine. Join Dr. Pierce every Tuesday during Big D Energy and Thursdays during Armani and Edwards, where he offers top-notch injury advice. Trust the guy that I trust. Dr. Jeff Pierce is here to keep you in the game and performing at your best. For more information, visit Michigan Sports and Spine. Spine.com or call 248-426-9944.